Hi, welcome to this tutorial. The topic of the tutorial is how to tweak or theme i3. We have done already some tweaking in the previous tutorials, but let's go into really, really go into detail. All right. What have we done until now? We have done that. We have seen that we have here this cursor and we have icons that are different and the color and the theming is all different. Super shift D is the menu on i3. That's your D menu, by the way. And um, we have to remember a word, Alex appearance. And here are the, my settings, the things I've changed. So are dark, can't change anything here. I've done an icon theme, that's it, nothing to change. Mouse cursor, I've changed that one. Font, nothing to change, but these things here. And then that's that, close. That's all we can change in Alex appearance. And we get us already in a nice look. Variety is of course also uh, active, as you can see. We have here variety that is going to show me some elements. And the wallpaper selector is looking a bit awkward, but then again, this is a tiling manager. It's not a normal desktop environment. So it's uh, going to be like this. I like this one in the previous tutorial. Let's get it back. And getting rid of this is done like so. Getting rid of it is like that. So wallpapers can be set with variety. Nothing new, we've done that in XFCE, in OpenBox, it's great. All right, but in i3, there's a different one. There is also nitrogen. But before I do that, let's do something else. There are no wallpapers on my system. It's an arch merge thing, you know? It's no desktop, no themes, no things, nothing. But there's also no wallpaper available. Um, let's see if we can get some of the wallpapers from minus s arch merge and here are some things we could download from the arch merge repository and there are wallpapers indeed so wallpapers kit let's get that one on our system 37 megabytes what's 37 megabytes these days nothing come on this is tutorial please download all right all right, up and there you go. No, it's not willing to do it. Download library error. Let's do a uh, mirror and see if that helps. And it shouldn't shouldn't help at all. Doesn't matter really. Mirror doesn't have anything to do with it. So that's strange. Ah, oh, voila. Computers. Ugh. So, downloaded everything. That's nothing to do with mirrors, really. But now it works. Fine. Everything in the tutorial. I don't care. <laughs> so, we have now uh, these uh, wallpapers. A good thing maybe I should repeat in this tutorial is that we have this um, pack, PAMAC thing. And this PAMAC thing tells you, tells people what are what's coming from where. That's one thing. So this one is installed, and what happens to it? What is it? It's going to be installed on the user share arch merge licenses. No, not the license. Here, user share backgrounds arch merge. So we have made, we've created in the folder user share backgrounds a folder arch merge and put everything in there. That's what we did. That's what's in that package. Now I can explain nitrogen to you. So get rid of that. Nitrogen. Okay, this is nitrogen. It's a wallpaper selector. You have your own folder probably on Dropbox or InSync or any uh, um, Google Drive or OneDrive or anywhere online, uh, keeping it safe. And then you point to it. You say preferences. You point to your directory, add a directory. Now my, my directory, you saw where it was, so I have to really go and look for it. So file system, user, share, backgrounds, arch merge. That's my folder. And I say, add it to the thing. Let's get rid of this one, delete. That was from the previous tutorial that I did not record. In the end, 
and okay and there you have it these are the arch merch wallpapers and you will probably recognize them and probably are tired of them as well because it's with wallpapers are great the first few weeks and then you want to change your to your own that's normal that's human so how does this work apply and that's it change and have a look that was not successful change and have a look this is our standard wallpaper if we press our terminal we see through it and that's awesome we have some gaps that's this is i3 gaps so when we press we have gaps in between it and that's how we like it so we have variety for wallpaper with nitrogen for wallpapers we have alex appearance for themes there's one more for themes you should know super shift q uh, not so successful again super shift d is what i mean super shift d and then q t and then this one config dash qt4 some of your applications will look out of place ugly um, that's because they're using these QT settings and these QT settings we can change them again here so we can change our fonts for instance we want the Noto Noto Sans I think we would pass it uh, no. no no Noto Sans back up here it is Noto Sans Italic, no, regular. Not of sounds regular. 9 is for my age, way too small. 11 is too big. I tend to take 11. Like so. So we decide to have not of sounds regular 11. And that's it. Interface, okay, appearance. This one we should tell to be GTK. Plus. But if you're using InSync, guys, don't use it because there's still a little bug inside. I hope that gets fixed. But uh, the way I remember it from the mail from InSync, they said it was it's due to GTK. So I'm wondering if this will be solved at all anytime soon. So normally GTK plus. File save. Aha, that's what you mean, Eric. Yeah. So now everything is looking the way it's supposed to look. And applications that are using these um, settings, like I think Sublime was one of those, I really don't know. But you want, of course, every application to look just awesome. And um, that's what you want to do. So Genie is also in arc, dark look. And everything is now looking awesome. But it's, it's hidden away. Qt config. Let's let's show you again. So Qt and then config. This is the one you need. Okay, escape. Getting rid of that, and then we're actually going deleting this one, deleting that one, deleting that one, deleting that one. That's a nice one. Let's keep this one, and then we should finally go. Let's kill this as well. Let's go inside our i3 folder. We are in .config i3, and here is also some tweaking to be done. You decide how you open your uh, files, but it, now it's set to open in um, Genie. If you don't want that, you go back to this one, and you say right mouse click, open with, open with another application, use as default, and then you choose anything you like. This one, I'm going to use this one because I do like the colors. It's a little bit slower to load because it's loading a complete directory here, but it's uh, nicer to work in. Uh, and you can, well, switch easily between all of these. And this is the one you want to read. So the dot, the config file is the one and it's barely, 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 thousand lines with all the spaces and all the blah blah in between it's not that long you need to read these and uh, we're just talking about design so we need to go all the way down there you have some design and the design is in here 
we can this is the bar appearance you take should take a look at it so first maybe we'll skip the colors so the actual design because there are three bars i want to put that in this video we have this bar that's now active that's this one so let's get rid of that one save it and let's take another one like this one then you can take that one or that one or that one or that one eh? for variations of the same theme and then save this one so we want an i3 blocks one of the i3 blocks Control shift reload and we get a completely different kind of panel more other information that is uh, supplied with it what else let's get rid of that as well we could go for a conky there is a possibility to if you are oh, um, more um, into conkeys and you understand how it's written and then you can change things in a conkey you can choose this one and let's reload it this time with a c super shift c rather than r and this is our conkey and that's why we needed awesome fonts to have these little icons up here and down there and this is another way of showing a um, toolbar so without much changes you just have a beautiful look and where is it it's here and where is this pointing to to the conky i3 status bar so that's there so change anything in here and it will be changed in there that's not what this tutorial is about so colors okay changing colors changing panels here um what else well in the config file you can also and then we're going to the colors we can change background so what color is this well, that's a good way to include this in the tutorial as well uh, let's install a package install packages uh, it's called pigment if i'm not mistaken pigments that's it with an s let's install that one as well that's enough for now what does pigments do it will show the colors because how do you know what color it is and now you do now you can see that this 2ff 2ff is a black kind of thing and when it's urgent then it's going to be a background that is red with a text that is white and a border that is gray and so on so here is your fun here you can change all these colors of these uh, workspaces and there are other examples here as you can see a border that's orange a background that's orange and an, an indicator that's that's green and so on and so on so a lot of information a lot of coloring already here and if we're talking about coloring we should not forget about color setups we should take a look at the color setups because we have already three colors available just for you to take a whirl is that a good word to try out anyway um i guess we see this not as full screen let's see if i can make this better uh, resize window blah 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 mm -hmm. playground interface options auto zoom full screen voila so that's the look we have it on a dual screen of course and this is all blue as you can see blue 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 and that's why these things are blue down here so okay we have a blue version what else we have a combustion version combustion version again options oh i killed it full screen this is all in the new mix kind of color i thought let's make a new mix uh, kind of orange i3 and that's this combustion and then new mix orange that's that's actually uh, that's the one for new mix not the other one full screen and it's more or less the same but it's more the color exactly exactly the hexadecimal color of new mix it's all the way you want it it's, it's uh, possible to change all these colors in the config file so these things should be changed 
and then we have examples here for you to try out. So you'll see here in the color config all the way down that these colors can just be copy paste. So just put these in your config and then you have it also. And that's it. What else um, did I tell everything? Did I change everything? So we talked, oops, we talked about the wallpaper, we did the themes, we did the cursors, we did the toolbars, we changed the toolbars, we can change the colors. Well, if anything pops up, I'll add it in a separate tutorial, but I think we're pretty much covered. This is what I don't want to see. Well, yeah, why not these guys here? So this is variety working for you. It's just a um, shortcut I've made to trash or to go to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. Whoa. Okay. So it's up to you now to change your i3 system. It's um, already ready for you to select themes and so on. And it's ready now for you to change things. May I point you, that's the last thing I'll do. May I point you into a direction because I know I don't say everything and I can't say everything, but there is this PE. I've made so many tutorials on i3. Please take a look at all these i3 tutorials because i3 is the same everywhere. If it's a Linux Mint or Antergos or Solus, it's the same everywhere. It's just i3. So if you want to change the size of the gaps between the Windows and i3, it's the same. It doesn't matter. There are six pages, six pages of articles here just about i3. And it's Linux Mint on 17 one point Rebecca, so long time ago. It doesn't matter. It's still i3. You can learn from any of these art articles and the YouTubes that are behind it. Of course, installation on uh, Linux Mint will probably not tell you a lot of information, but you'll see and you'll understand that i3 is something you take along and you move it to any distro you want and you're back home. Enjoy i3 and enjoy tweaking it. <laughs>